Good morning and welcome to Moopsie in the Morning for April the 29th, 2024. I'm up. And today, oh, we've got a Taz. Good morning, Taz. Good morning, Mom. <coughs> How are you today? Doing pretty great. Yay, good. Glad to hear that is my phone. Phone now tells me. Now, 10 minutes after I start the show, the phone just went off to say, hey, you're live. Well, thank you. <laughs> How was your weekend? Good morning, Chris. I got really stuck into Half-Life 2 now, uh, Fallout 4. Mm. Sorry, I was swallowing some coffee. I have to say I barely did any gaming this weekend. I was on Saturday night and decided to spend my Sunday morning one with a bit of a hangover and then get some stuff done around the house as I very slowly get things done here but i swear to goodness every time i try to do one thing okay i need yeah. to move my firewood from the middle of the lawn or i don't know why they put the firewood in the middle of the lawn but they did to a different spot well to move it i needed a pair of gloves i needed a place to move it i needed to put some rocks underneath it because i didn't want it sitting on the wet grass so i had to excavate a pit get some rocks which i moved from a different place over there. oh to excavate it you need a shovel okay off to the store buy a shovel start getting the rocks and moving them over. Oh, that doesn't work. Blah, 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 blah. So l the long and the short of it is, instead of getting rid of stuff, I still have the firewood in the middle of the lawn. I now have a <laughs> shovel I didn't previously have, and I have two more projects halfway done. That is my life right now. Nothing is getting accomplished. Object just piling on top of each other. Yeah, and um, I just try and put down, you know, do one, do one thing. That's all you have to do, one thing and try not to create 87 more problems yeah but it never works that way so i thought i'll hang the pictures i can hang my pictures no one of them's got a broken frame okay we're going to need to go to the framers today and get that replaced Ugh. it never ends my boss keeps going just take a week off i don't want to spend my vacation week cleaning my house yes but you really will feel better Yes, but I don't want to spend my week cleaning. <laughs> yeah, I, I understand you. Yeah. I mean, I could take a week unpaid, which I may wind up doing. So I can still have my week yeah. off to go to see DT get married. Awesome. How was that? No, no, that's coming up. That's at the oh, end. Oh, it's coming up. Yeah, that's at the end of July, but it's out in Las Vegas. And he just happened to time it so it's the same week as the uh, Star Trek convention. So I've been chatting with all my friends who typically go to the convention because I don't really have that much that I want to do there this year. There aren't any great panels. Mm -hmm. But it occurred to me that, you know, we could get together and go out to, you know, there's some places around there that are really nice, like Red Rock Canyon or go out and have dinner together at a nice restaurant and a few things like that. So I'm trying to plot out things to do that aren't necessarily Star Trek. I know, it's heresy, non-Star Trek. Anyway, getting to the important stuff here. Oh, I really have nothing that's exciting. Holy moly, how'd that happen? So tell me about your weekend. Tell me about, you said it was... Uh, Fallout 4. Fallout 4, uh, thank you. Uh, I had no idea that uh, that universe was as big as it was. Oh, yeah. So it got me by a real surprise. I'm like 40 hours deep into Fallout 4, <laughs> and I'm like, should I start over again just to get now that I know what I'm doing? <laughs> there is that. There is that. Speaking of now that I know what I'm doing, about six years ago when we were going to one of the Star Trek conventions, Ed and I built a couple of accounts together. Yeah. And I was going through going, I wonder if I can get access, because I have the email, because we built them off some of my emails, and I was able yeah. to get into two of his old accounts. So Ooh. Ed's not completely dead. I have found Carl Pla and Bruce Spanner. So I, <laughs> I went in, and he's got like six tunes on each. And I thought, okay, because I really need to have more tunes to do. But it's it's More keeping Ed, yeah. So I have forty five of my own, and he's got twelve on those two. So that gives me fifty seven tunes on four accounts. Wow, uh, that's more than anyone needs. 
Oh my god, I have nothing in space. All I've got is ground stuff today. What is going on here? The only... I have old TFOs and repair hull space. Well, we can go do that. That would be fun. Chris, do you have anything good this morning? I mean, I've got Undine ships in the battle zone and Voth on the ground, but ugh, and Borg on the ground, and then my other count is all ground damage. And I haven't even checked on Ed's yet, so I've got to go work on that. On the other hand, I do have really good coffee this morning. Phaser damage, Voth ships in the battle zone, and one dreadnought. Well, let's see. If you get yourself a ship with some phasers on it, Chris, uh, you I said you have a Borg TFO? If you want to come and get the rot on. I'm sorry, say that again, please. I'm in the rot battle zone right now, if you want to come and get it on. Can't... Um, use it. Sure, hang on. Chris, I'm inviting you to team, so you're in the space battle zone, or ground battle zone. Taz, are you in space or ground? Uh, I'm in the Voth base battle zone. Okay. Chris, why don't you jump over to the Voth space battle zone, and uh, you, can, you can get yours, and I'll get mine. Well, I don't. Mine are on the ground, but I don't care. I can go shoot things. We're teamed. Go shoot things then. Yeah. I looked out yesterday. He had space damage, dreadnoughts, and repair hull. So very hard to that's argue with that one. one that's awesome. Yes. So it took one hive onslaught to get everything done on that account, which was really nice. It's like you're almost too fast done with your endeavors. And yeah. Like, hmm, well, it, it only went five minutes. What am I now supposed to do? <laughs> well, that worked out really well because I actually needed to go to work yesterday. Yeah. So I was able to get that done like by 7 a.m., head out to the office and put in a few hours there. Is there a dreadnought left here? And then I was able to do a huge amount of work on the house yesterday, but I'm, I'm definitely paying for that. I uh, forced myself to stay awake till 9 o'clock, went to bed, and woke up with every muscle in my body aching. Mm. So, But it's the good kind of, ouch, oh, that all hurts. Good morning, Mikey Moo. Okay. Some over here, it says. There they are. Oh, they're, th they're gone now. I wish they would have more ships in this. If you're going to put things in the Voth battle zone, put ships in there. There are some ships over here. Yeah, you see. Yeah, that. I mean, sometimes you can go around for quite a while and not have any ships. How am I doing? I'm doing good. Wondering why I keep working, but you know, that's a whole different story.
I say that because I woke up, I'm sore, I'm stiff. I'd love to just crawl back into bed for another, you know, 24 hours. But... Not entirely sure. Sure, I've got money to pay the bills if I do that. And I will have the ability to go back to sleep like that. It's like the moment my eyes open, I'm awake. I have two dogs who would be very happy to tell me to pull the shades, just kind of lie there and chill. <laughs> have you seen those blackout shades? Oh, I they actually have uh, curtains that the former owners here left in that are blackout but not blackout, so the room is, unless the sun is shining in, which only happens at uh, sunset, it's really dark in the main room. So dark that I'm actually going to repaint it because they did dark gray walls, which is not yeah. horrible, but not really attractive. And it, it's great if you're sleeping, but it makes you feel like you need to sleep all the time. So did you get your uh, Voth ships? Yeah, I'm done. Chris, did you get your Voth ships? I did take the babies over to the park across the street from me, which is long ago. Oh, well, let's get out of here then. Let's go do something Borgy. How about, yeah. since we're teamed, um, Hive Onslaught? Yeah. Does that work for you guys? Or would you rather do something big? We could do is guillotine. Is kind of big, or do you mean along? Like guillotine, or... Let's see, what else is in there? Wolf 359. What else counts these days? I think they updated it so everything's in there now. It's the same for me, what you think? Chris, you got a preference? Let's see, well we've got three of us, let's see if we can get to guillotine with three of us here. And if that doesn't pop in a few minutes here, I will go launch us for something else. The thing for guillotine is it should pop on randoms, so you just need two people queuing for randoms, but this hour of the morning sometimes people aren't queuing for randoms. Usually as soon as those morning endeavors pop, everybody's just doing the endeavors. Let's add in a Hive Onslaught. Yeah, I was keen for Hive Onslaught on uh, Friday night, and it didn't pop. There we go, Hive Onslaught. Wee woo. Wee woo. Wee woo, Chris. So it's uh, gone from last week. I got back from Philadelphia and it was cold enough they needed to get a coat to go to work. It is. It was 85 degrees yesterday afternoon. And I'm sitting up here dying. It is warm up here. <laughs> I will reach that stage in Norway yet. Still kind of wintry. Well, it's not determined to be summer yet, but it's thinking about it. Yeah. It says it's 65 degrees, but I'm on the second story of the house, so yeah, it gets warm up here. So I should make my next project getting the screens out of the attic and re-screening them. So again, you have to buy more stuff, because to re-screen a screen, you need the new screens and you need the little doodad that pushes it into place. Ooh, um, I think it was Saturday night after we finished our live stream. Pi was streaming a game I'd never played before. Resonance, I think it's called. Ooh, it looked really interesting. I haven't thought about that. What kind of game is it? Um, I don't know. It's like a puzzle game. 
you've got four no. characters and you have to move them around a map, solve puzzles to progress to the next section. But he seemed to be having fun. Maybe once I get the house all done, I can do that. I didn't even get a chance to send off the uh, feedback anymore. I think she started as soon as she tried to kick it. <laughs> We're gonna have to start playing this on Elite. Oh, did you get any on that one? Yeah, I think I got 14k. Out of? Max, I got the uh, highest one. That's what I need. Well, we can do Ruins of Doom as a patrol. That'll let you do a lot of hull heal. Yeah, I, I'm a, I am an engineer. I just need to use sufficient HP to be actually have room for healing. <laughs> That's when I usually uh, put on my chromiest toys, you know, drop everything. I drop my, he said hull healing, so I drop my shields and I drop my deflectors so I can take maximum damage. Mm -hmm. And then, even on this ship, that doesn't always work, so I try and find one of my chromier ships and use that one. What next? Yeah, magic walker, I should be able to take it all out in like one click, but I, ha I have to be missing the amount of HP to it, get credit for the only thing. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I think I was talking to It about this the other day. I, no, it wasn't. It was death. Um, you know when you have to heal... Is it shields? Yeah, heal shields on the ground for your endeavor. Yeah. I, I was on Nimbus, and I took a little bit of damage, and I decided to switch to a different map, so I was maybe on instance one. No, it wasn't that. I used the transporter, and I went from oh the stronghold over to the canyon. Insta-heal. It completely healed everything. Nice. Yeah, I didn't realize that happened. Apparently, that's one thing. Or if you change instance, it'll do the same thing. So take a small amount of damage, and... We've got some citadels up here if you want to see if you can get some hull damage. Good morning, Kadargo. How are you, my dear? <clears throat> uh, the sea is silent. Dargo. Dargo? Yeah. How come Haven't this you seen uh, Farscape? I have seen Farscape, but it's been oh, Darko. 20 years? Uh, 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 well, I remember Darko. Uh, in front of his name, he just used Darko. 
Okay, Dargo. <laughs> I've been calling Kadargo Kadargo since I met him, so now I stand corrected. Yeah, but if you've seen the show, you know. <laughs> I didn't remember it, to be honest. Um, oh. I mean, I remember... His name is <clears throat> Carl Dargo. Wow. But they all, uh, everyone calls him Dargo. Ah. <laughs> Actually, let's see here. With the convention we were at in uh, Philadelphia last weekend? Yeah, last weekend. Gigi Edgley was there. Oh, wow. Yep. I had such a crush on her when I was younger. She still looks <laughs> gorgeous, by the way. Yeah, I can, can imagine. Yeah. But she was walking around in leather pants and boots with had to be four inch high heels on them. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, and everybody is going up to her and talking to her about all her work and all that. I'm like, how the heck do you walk around in those heels? My feet <laughs> kill me. How old is she now? Oh, goodness, she's got to be 50. She looks like she's in her maybe mid-30s. She looks really good. Of course, she had such a youthful face. I mean, she looks spectacular. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we won marks for doing something. I got 15. <laughs> well, I burned through a bunch of marks on this tune, so... I'm down to like a thousand each on Discovery and Omega. And having to rebuild those. What's next? Nice if the marks were tradable. I've been trading them in to get to, um, to lithium because I burned through a huge amount of lithium trying to help support mm -hmm. some of the fleets. Let's see what we've got going. Oh, oh goodness. Should I be rude? Yes, I'm going to be rude. I'm going to steal them all. So I have a personal policy. If I go in and I take uh, like all the fleet marks in a project, I feel morally obliged to then pay for all the, the lithium as well. There oh. we go. That way it's not like just sneaking in taking only the good stuff. Yeah, that's true. But that was a painful one at 50,000 to lithium. Ouch. What's next, Chris? What's next, Taz? What do we want to do? The pair home space, I need something that needs help. I'm sorry, say that again? You want to heal your hull? I, I need to repair hull space, so something that can hit me kind of hard. Let's do um, Ruins of Doom, the patrol. Because that lets you sit there at the um, where the asteroids are, and they just do damage every 20 seconds, and you can just sit there and soak up damage. Yeah. Uh, oh, Chris has got a headache. Chris, don't join us if you don't want to. Just sit and chill. I had two relatively small glasses of red wine on Saturday night, and I was paying for it yesterday, so I can appreciate a headache. Which is why I shouldn't drink red wine. I'm going to launch Ruins of Doom. And I see your map moving, so I assume you did too. Yeah. So it's too late for me to finish up the two endeavors, or the two events for Ed on the two accounts that I just found. Is there any reason to do them other than to get the small bonuses out of it? No. Or just wait. For uh, well, it, it depends. Every time you do, do the daily mm -hmm. uh, event thingy, you get progress for uh, does the it, yearly event. Do, get, does it count for the big event? Yeah. No, really? Yeah. It's not part. It's not part of the meta event, though. 
I know the new one coming up. There is the new event that starts Thursday, which is the Demon Slayer. And it's three green TFOs. Anyway, so if you go sit there at the uh, asteroid, it'll just keep uh, doing damage. There. So, yeah. Um. I took one point of damage. <laughs> Do you still have your shields and your deflectors on? Woohoo! They managed to... Oh. oh, Chris is here. They are not doing enough damage. Maybe move my shield. Yeah, take off your shields. That way the hull will take okay. more damage. There you go. <laughs> Still not a lot, but it's some. Um... And if he goes Come close... On, Gabe. <laughs> go on as close as you can to the center of the asteroid. Oh yes, yeah, it has been mocking me out. Yeah, it keeps bumping you out every time. Wow, that is a hull. So... <laughs> I didn't expect this to be a problem. <laughs> So, how about elite current system and I just go into that massive spawning well, thingy and just take everything? Leave your shields and your hull off. Let's go finish up this TFO and see if you take some during the course yeah. of the mission. How's that? Yeah. I'll do that. Sometimes the Mokai are nastier than other times. Hopefully. Did you kill the colony? I'm calling the second one. Colony neutralized. Yeah. Let's okay. head toward the next one. Picking up Mokai ships Here we on go. the range sensors. We're about to have company. Yeah, I I'm not losing enough HP to be able to engage any heals. <laughs> yeah. Well, come on over here and play with me. I Mok remember these bombs hitting really hard once upon a time. Well, come on over here and hit these guys and see if maybe one of them will smack you up. Okay. What surprises me is every now and then I'll be doing this, trying to take the damage from the uh, colony, the, um, whatever they're called, the spore colonies, and it doesn't work, and then I go in and fight the Lucara, and all of a sudden I've taken all the damage I need. Oh. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. <laughs> I'm I'm watching your ship and you just aren't taking damage. <laughs> So, that's how useful shields are. <laughs> well, when you've got a really big hull, that's how useful shields are. This is the same thing with this tune. This is a nice tank. But I can go in, no shields, no deflectors, no nothing. And still not take enough damage sometimes. But this is no damage. Come on, game. <laughs> Well, in a moment we'll go do it the easy way.
Okay, anyways, I'm putting on my shields for search and rescue. I, I'm not going to survive that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can we take a one minute break before search and rescue? Yep. I just want to go throw some more coffee in my cup. I will be right back. I'm back. You said search and rescue? Yeah. Rescue and search, whichever one that is. Oh, that's right, it's patrol. Uh, on advanced or elite? Elite. Elite. Okie doke. Rescue and search on elite. And I'm launching. And really quick, I'm going to check my messages here. Sedia uh, system. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, go. Okay. Go ahead, you were saying? No, uh, nothing. <laughs> Zarnold's just sent me a message saying, I was reading today that World of Tank are going to have a Star Trek collaboration for the Call to Mars event. That could be interesting. What? That's what he says. We did it. I've never had any interest of playing that game. Now I do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, that's the best thing about collabs. As soon as they occur, then it's just... Oh, that sounds like fun. Well, if this doesn't give you your whole damage, uh, Chris said Sedia is tougher, so we'll go do that one. And if that doesn't work, we'll go do Trouble Over Tur. And then you can sit in the middle of all of the Yalachi as they warp in. I think this is the hardest one of all of them, because the constantly spawning Mogai, um, if they hit with you, hit you with viral impulse, they're kind of fucked. And the only reason I think Trouble Over Tur is harder, is, or at least better for this, is because it launches more Lachi. It'll go for up to five minutes on yeah. wait. It drops a ton of Dreadnoughts. Mm. Kel tweeted to say, ignore any words of collabs we might hear in the next couple of days. I thought he was talking about a collab with an anime, though. 
that's one less rift to worry about. Let's regroup with Kumarkin. Bummer. That would be fun, though. Thank you, Chris. Maybe it's a lot of chat of collabs. How are you doing no, on that hull damage? damage? You're not taking any damage, are you? Yeah, I am not. Oh, you are good. Yay. I'll wait, I'll wait. <laughs> says, why do you have shields on? Because this is hard. Because <laughs> otherwise you will die. Yield 80k so far? Yay! A hundred... Watch, you'll get to 149, 736, and that'll be the end of the <laughs> patrol. Because that's how it always oh goes. Oh my god, I hate the Mokai! Did they viral impulse you? Yeah. Yep. And if you have good anti engines, whoops, you're on the other side of the map. <laughs> they got me. And Chris reminds us that engineering team gets rid of it. Oh. Let's deal with the strangers, shall we? How goes the damage? One hundred and ten K. Okay. So we gotta do at least one more then. You usually always get it on this one. We're definitely an elite. Yeah, but you're usually going solo, right? Yeah. Yeah, and there's three of us. So you're not sucking up all the damage yourself. That's true. 130. I'm going to stop shooting at things so they can all shoot at you. And I let some of them explode in my face. Yeah, run. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. One hundred and thirty point one three. That's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Let's see. So,
Should we try a Jupiter Gauntlet Hall? Absolutely, whatever you'd like. Or we can try Sedia, we can try Jupiter Gauntlet. I'm in Jupiter Gauntlet. Okay, give me a sec to beam out of here. Every time I change maps, my cursor disappears, so I can't change my other screen. There we go. Hang on one second. Let's see. I've got the link for Facebook from Sarnold's Four World of Tanks about the collab. Oh, that's interesting. Um, it looks like there's something between Star Trek and World of Tanks that posted two days ago. Hmm. But it doesn't have a lot of details in it. So we will wait to get more info. Okay, we will stay ready for more information on that one. Are the Star Trek fans really that starved for content that we are willing to try everything with the name Star Trek on it? Well, I don't know if that's Star Trek Online or Star Trek Fleet Commander or Star Trek something else. We will see. Sarnolds will keep us updated on that. But Chris could be right, because that would be about the same time frame that Kel was coming out with the information about, hey, yeah, be aware of collabs. If I remember right, he sent something out on Friday. Okay, what did you say we're doing? Jupiter Station Hard? Yeah. So, Jupiter, Jupiter Gauntlet Hard, right? Or, no, not Jupiter Station, Jupiter Gauntlet. Jupiter Gauntlet Hard. Jupiter Gauntlet Hard. Chris, if you want to join us. <laughs> now nice you, get time. you get it, now you die. That'll teach ya. Oops. Shouldn't say anything, I'm gonna die there too. Oh, really? <laughs> Space Station got caught in. I enjoy patrols, but I hate that they pay so little in marks. I mean, it's 30, 30 to 45 on the first one, and after that it's 15 to 22, depending on if there's a boost on or not. Almost yeah. not worth it. <laughs> Chris says weaklings. <clears throat> Puny starships. <laughs> Oh, 
We are in ad mode. So a better time to drink coffee. <coughs> oh, I have such a caving for I definitely need to get some additional firepower on this too. that immunity thingy. Uh -huh. <coughs> Whoa. Wow. Pretty much instantly. Both disappeared on me. It's like the final wave decided to be ten times harder than the first. Yeah. <laughs> In first, <clears throat> first fight of the day usually kicks my butt because I'm not thinking yet, but this is not my first fight of the day. Oh! Wow. I didn't even see that coming. Huh. Here's what happens if I come in here and go here. Oh, man. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Room in time. Interesting. Pesky little guys out of there.
Den kæft i hele gødden af. Jupiter Gauntlet is a random one, correct? You don't know who the opponent's going to be until we get yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't know what happened oh, there, but okay. Oh. There was a brunt line, and then there wasn't a brunt line. Oh, there he is. He just bounced. Got hundreds of uh, repairs available. Immunity beams are starting to become <laughs> really annoying. Just consider this your exercise for the day. Yeah, yeah, I'm fully awake now. <laughs> Two ships to go. Let's get them. Bouncing all over the place. It's very annoying. Uh, I'm teleporting them around. Oh! With amplifiers. It's really good for unconventional systems. Oh. What did we miss? Did we miss one? There it is. Yeah, the dreadnought. <laughs> the dreadnought. <laughs> like we haven't had enough today. The HP on that pistol. He has 10.5 million health. How? <laughs> 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 the 
Oops. Doesn't GM on the other side of that one just sitting there having fun? <laughs> I suppose... I assume we've got one available, don't we? I know we have some Zenkethi ships available. But it's gonna move like a tank. Yep. Like a really big... it's gonna move like a brick. I'd have to go look. I have never been that hard of a ship, ever. Let's just unlock it at its HP recovery. That's fucking insane! I've never had this much fun in a patrol ever before. <laughs> <laughs> that took damage. That's amazing. Wow. wow. I wish I'd, I I wish I started the uh, parcel so I could see what what the amount of damage we did to that parcel. <laughs> yes, that would be great. I'd love to know what we did on that one. Yeah, I think I died like three, four, maybe five times. Oh, <laughs> I usually did five times. Okay, playables and Kathy ships, no. There is the Zentar Dreadnought Carrier, but it's not that Dreadnought. Yeah, that was freaking insane. But you can get it. It's a tier six infinity... And, yeah, it's a tier 6 and an infinity, so it's a, there is one, but I don't think it's that one. Wish I had better specs on it here. Jesus, we spent 15 it's, minutes on killing that vessel. <laughs> oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's only showing a hull of uh, 49.5 for that one, so that sucker is big. All right. That's a good way to start the morning and the week. Mm -hmm. Accepting your mortality. Hey, speaking of the week, let's take a look at what's coming up here. Uh, what did we do yesterday? We did Days of Doom. Okay, tonight is the V-Rex, so we will be camping out in V-Rex land tonight. And Wednesday is forged in fire, so tonight's going to be pretty easy. If anybody needs to do the V-Rex, join us and we'll just do some spawn camping. Especially for those who don't get a good chance to get those very often. We'll take care of that. I'm going to get out uh, here and go to work and pay for all this stuff. So on behalf of the Moopsie in the Morning team, I want to thank everybody who joined us today. I hope you guys have a great day. We'll be back in about 12 hours. And as we like to stay, say around here, stay moopsie. Moopsie, moopsie. I can't do the moopsie voice. That's also on the list of things to do. Get the stream deck put together. Anyway, everyone, have a great day.